Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany, I'm a licensed nail technician and I specialize in gel nail art, press one nails, and in-person services. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this viral pop art cartoon nail. So I'm gonna do a few different colors and you can just follow along. So what you're gonna need to create this look is gel for one and then you can pick two colors. You're gonna need a lighter color and a darker color. So I have some purples, I have some browns for fall, I have the dark gray and light gray, as you can see, that I used to create this nail. And then I have two purples. You'll also need a white and a black color. So I have two liner gels right here. You'll need a matte top coat. Or you can use glossy, but I do think the look looks better with a matte finish. And you'll also want to use a uh, nail art brush. All right, so for our first look, I'm going to do the tan. So this is called Tanning Please Don't Fade from iGel Beauty. We're going to go in and use this as our base. And now we're just gonna put it in our lamp and cure for 60 seconds. Okay, so while the tan is curing, we're gonna go in with the pink. So this design, I actually tried it for the first time earlier today, and it's super simple, and it looks really cool. So once you learn how to do like the basic, you know, design for this, you can do so many cool things. You know, you can do a full set of pop art, or you can just incorporate it into some of your other favorite nail art uh, designs you like to do. I've seen people create hearts and flames and all kinds of uh, fun, different designs with this. Okay, our tan base is fully cured now, so I'm just gonna take the darker brown and put it on my palette there so I can use this to paint. So, with this, I'm just going to paint on the outside. So I'm gonna take some of the brown and I'm just going to swoop it on the side here and I'm just gonna taper it up and taper it down. And you do wanna build it out a little bit because you are gonna go in and outline the nail in black. And you're gonna do not a super chunky outline with the black, but you know, thicker than thinner is better. So make sure that you do the darker color a little bit, extend it out so that way the black can fill in on the side, if that makes sense. <laughs> Sometimes I'm saying things, I'm like, oh, that actually doesn't sound right, but you'll see. Just follow along. <laughs> okay, now that we have our pop of a dark color, I just wanna add a little line here and just drag it up. And now we're gonna put this back in the lamp to cure. Now it's time for the pink. So you're gonna add our pop of darker pink. And we're just gonna do this the same way. And I feel like there's really no right or wrong way that you can do this. So you can just do, you know, your own thing, wherever you wanna add your color. And you feel like it would be fun, do it. But this is just like, you know, teaching you the basic part of doing this design. And we're just gonna add our little accent line there and into the lamp and our last color I'm going to show you how to do is the purple so once again doing the same thing so if you're liking this video so far and you're finding it helpful please leave a like and a comment down below and even subscribe if you're into, you know, nail tutorials, anything nail related really, because I like to discuss nail business, important topics within nails, and showing you how to do nail designs, and really whatever else that I feel like 
I can share that's nail related, I'll share it here. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button if that, you know, interests you at all. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go in with our black color and we're going to do the outline of the nail. When you're doing this on like press on nails, it's way easier because you can move the, <laughs> you know, you can move the nail all around to get different angles. But if you're doing it on someone, you have to just keep their finger, you know, kind of in one place. You can still move it a little bit, but it's not the same as a press on. Okay, I have this fully outlined, and what I'm gonna do is just add a little accent in the corner of the nail here. So I'm just gonna add a little line there. And I would recommend maybe putting some gloves on for this. All right, I'm gonna put this one in the lamp. And the reason why I say gloves is because anytime you're outlining, you see my fingers there, there's gel everywhere. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna move on to this one and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just going to outline the nail. We're not doing super thick, but like thick enough, right? Like we don't want it super thin. We need these to be very bold looking. I just say things. <laughs> And instead of adding that little corner piece, I'm just going to add like a line. Right here. And then we're gonna add a little line right there. Now we're gonna take the white gel, excuse the extra crusty bottle. I clean it all the time, but I scoop my gel out of it all the time so it gets on the side, blah, 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 blah. Yes, we know, okay, it, it looks a mess. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is add a highlight of the white. So I'm just going to go on this side. Let's see. I'm gonna start at the top right here. Let me get this in focus, there we go. And I'm just gonna take it and do a little bit thicker and then go a little bit thinner. And then I'm gonna add a little dot at the end like an exclamation point. Okay, and here are all of our styles. This is them glossy, but now we're going to add a matte top coat, which I feel like gives it that really cartoon look. That really like convincing cartoon look. I can't speak. <laughs> And I'm using the Koopa Matte Top Coat, and this, okay, I used to hate matte top coats for the longest time because I felt like they all were horrible. But I found this one, and I really like using it, and it's really not that expensive, and look, there is no bleeding. So I don't know if you use a top coat ever, and like, especially if you use black, it always smears it onto whatever you've done. This one does not do that, and it holds up really well, so this has been the best one that I've tried and I have tried so many. So I thought I'd, you know, just share that little bit about the matte top coat because <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if you've struggled with finding a good, a good matte top coat. Like there's just certain products that I've looked far and wide for and it took me forever to find. Like even browns and nudes, like really good ones, I'm telling you. Some of this stuff is just not that easy to find. All right. Like it looks cool glossy, but it looks so much better when it's matte. All right, and then the last one. 
Okay, this is the finished look for all of these. Oh my gosh, my lamp is going off so much. How cool do these look? And let's add our little, let's put, let's put this one on a stand too. How cool do these look? I mean, these look so fake. <laughs> and then that's the whole idea, right? Is to have these like fake cartoon looking nails, but these look really crazy. So I feel like you can have a lot of fun with it once you, know, you just practice this. It's super simple. And then you can just go in and, you know, start adding this to other different designs. So if you liked watching this tutorial and you thought it was helpful, once again, please leave a like, leave a comment, drop a nail emoji below, and even subscribe. You can also check out me on TikTok and Instagram where I usually post you know, different nail inspos and short tutorials and miscellaneous nail stuff on there. All of my platform names are your nail plug with an X at the end. All right, thanks for watching, take care.